Okay, good morning. We're gonna talk this morning about making a shoulder turn. Evan's gonna help us demonstrate what the shoulder turn should look like and also what it shouldn't look like. So first, we'll talk about uh, making a shoulder turn. I'll have him take this uh, mid iron here, go back to the top and hold it. Once you get to the top, you can see that he has his shoulders turned about 90 degrees, maybe a little more, maybe 100 degrees here to the target. You wanna be able to keep this right leg um, set and, and load up on the right side, but you can't go back with this knee. You can't go back to the heel to get an extra shoulder turn. That'll defeat the purpose of coiling up properly. Okay, so set your leg back properly again. One more time, let's go to the top. Good shoulder turn, leg is set, ready to coil and, and have some power pushing off that right leg. Okay, now let's put the club up uh, to help see a little more of what this shoulder turn looks like. This is a good stretch for you as well, but when you can see these, uh, this club come all the way past the ball, if you're sitting up past at the ball, that would be a, a great shoulder turn. Some of you can't make that big of a shoulder turn. You may be not as flexible as Evan is. So if you can lift this foot on your way back and, and that will release a little bit, help you make a little more turn, it's okay. It's better to get coiled up than it is to stay flat and not be able to turn, but let's say 45%. The PGA Tour player uh, that with a driver, you'll see the longest hitters coil up 135 degrees rather than just 90. But if we can get to 90, it'll help you have more power as long as we maintain this flex in the right knee. So I hope this helps you go out on the range, give it a shot.